With 250 miles of wild road ahead, the team again faces the prospect of traveling at night. Finally, after almost 18 hours of driving, the hunters have arrived in the village of Farafangana, and Ron's local contact is nowhere to be seen. Where is Ivan? He's a uh, Holy <laughs> Ivan! Mon, mon, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Mon Dieu, c'est compliqué ici. A trip with? Okay, in second. Okay, all right, bye-bye, bye. Look, we're going right away to see some gems. I'm going with you to Ivan, eh? We just arrived in town. We pulled up to the hotel. It was a little terrifying. The uh, the, the uh, electricity was out, so the place looked uh, been a bit haunted. And they seem to have some rocks in some other part of town, so we're going to have have a look right away. And uh, I think there's no time like the presence, although it's tricky at night to do anything with the gems. We don't know what's on the side of us. You know, the dark makes a tunnel of all roads. And we're wondering about this because it's kind of a curious thing to go to see gems at night, and and and, and we're certainly at the whim of somebody else, so we're feeling very insecure. There's strange dynamics involved here. They're making it seem as if we have to uh, we have to look at this stuff right away. Um, I think they're hopeful that we're going to make some rash decisions very quickly. It's a curious time to look at gems, I'll tell you that, uh, in the dark of night. This is yeah. up. Watch the cars, for God's sakes. I hope the drivers are watching the cars, OK? Oh, oh God. Yeah. OK, hi, bonjour. <laughs> oh, look at that looks all right. This looks all right. The long drive may have been worth it. This is exactly what Ron is after, an entire pound of aquamarine. This is not a great time to be looking at gems. No, no, it's not easy to get him. Aquamarine is a blue emerald, also known as beryl. The Roman name for barrel became the English word brilliant. The rest will be like 50 Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> try that, try that. But Ron's joy is fleeting because Bernie is not impressed. Lots of junk. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult for you. Yeah. It's difficult for you. Yeah, very, very tricky. The saturation isn't good. The color is not very deep. While the stone's size and weight are exactly right, the gem is too cloudy and has far too many fractures running through it to be profitable. The price tag is 20 grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the piece. Mm-hmm. 20 Now. You cannot believe it. You cannot believe it. It's a bust. Tonight's gem deal has turned into a 250-mile waste of time. For Ron, failure is now a real possibility. But as the new day breaks and the village of Farafangana comes to life, all it takes is one phone call and Ron is back in the game. His hunt for aquamarine hits a rich seam of luck. One of the contacts phones me to come and meet him at a place called the Cadaster, which is the, mine, the mining institute. And he suggests that he is exporting uh, some kind of a monster stone. So I get into a cab. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the logic is, but I, uh, but, 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 but I, I, I go at it. Ron's destination is a blind alleyway and a government agent. He has been asked to come alone. Bernie and Diane are following at a distance. At stake is a huge quantity of aqua that's about to be smuggled out of the country unless Ron can buy it first. That's if the deal is real, and this isn't a trap. Bernie and I were in a separate taxi, and we really had no idea what was going on. We were just following another taxi that Ron was in, so we really had no idea where we were going or what was happening. My contact signals me to get out of, out of the t cab. I go into another big, big black, black cab. He introduces me to a partner who's driving the car. Uh, suddenly, if somebody comes into the passenger side, and we drive, we drive out of there, and everybody, and, and I begin to ask questions, and they seem to, uh, you know, everybody wants me to quiet down. I'm a little uh, reticent to be a bit careful here. I'd rather I wasn't here, probably, but it's okay. 
I need to see this gem. The guy in the passenger seat is an agent, a government agent. Anyways, a little bit of discretion. <laughs> we'll all be in, a, in some trouble. See, they even closed my window. See? I didn't close that window. They closed the window. They didn't want anybody outside to see the white guy in the car. You know? I don't know what the hell they're doing now, but... Okay. I think they're going to look at the product of the back. So I'm seeing this, the, the best rock I've seen, I don't think anybody's ever seen a rock so good. Holy Yeah. And I'm just going along. Yeah. <laughs> good, good color. So it wasn't until Bernie and I actually got out of the car to go see what Ron was looking at that we realized. Ron started looking at the stone and I saw him raise this thing up and it was like a blue sunrise. I just went, ah, where the heck did they get that thing from? It was incredible. Bernie, have a look at this. Oh my gosh, there's this huge 20 pound aquamarine. So it was, you know, it just sort of came out of nowhere. And what do you think you can uh, sell this piece for uh, as is? In a perfect world, what do you think? Really, at least we are looking for 100. seven. $700,000 for this piece. 700000 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. $700,000. God, I wish we could take this and go To find 20 time. pounds of pure blue aquamarine intact as one colossal rock is very rare in the gem world. And $700,000 US dollars makes this one of the most expensive pieces of aqua on Earth. But to cut it, Ron would have to smash it into pieces when it deserves a place in a museum. As a gem person, I don't know if I can adequately describe what goes through your soul when you see something like that. There's nothing like this in the Smithsonian. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. I've yeah. never seen anything this, this big before. Is, this yeah. Is huge. Yeah. I'm not too sure what their gender was. I believe that, uh, that, that the contact was trying to impress me, and, uh, and he certainly did.